Hi, my name is Dr. Julian Tong. I'm the founder of Newphiliac. Today I've written a couple of interesting articles and uh, I'd like to make a short video just to cover uh, some of the very interesting points in this, uh, in this article. And it concerns um, Fujifilm's uh, X-mount mirrorless camera systems. Uh, basically, it's a comparison of uh, all the um, uh, ca cameras, the latest cameras in the X-mount system, and uh, basically to give you a good understanding of uh, which one might be for you. Right. For first, of course, uh, if you would like to uh, visit Newphiliac, just uh, you know, I I will provide the link in the description, and uh, I, I I welcome you to uh, uh, register an account. And uh, if you find some articles or uh, uh, or some products that you find interesting, please um, do. Uh, like and uh, share and uh, if you're also interested you could uh, you know just uh, keep uh, coming keep coming back because uh, I will always update uh, new articles new new products and uh, uh, new companies just for enthusiasts to enjoy now uh, about Fujifilm's X-mount mirrorless system um, so currently there are uh, I, I count five uh, cameras that are, um, are in their respective uh, uh, segment, uh, the latest. That is uh, X-H1, the X-T4, X-T30, X-T200, and X-Pro3. Uh, these cameras are all APS-C size uh, with APS-C sensors, and they are roughly of the, sim of the same design, uh, as you can see in the gallery here, uh, they are they're relatively they're relatively similar in design, um, with the exception perhaps of uh, X Pro Three, which has a rangefinder design and uh, the uh, viewfinder to the side. Well, all the others are have basically quite classic, iconic Fujifilm design that uh, uh, could be traced back to the uh, analog days. Uh, so there are some a lot of uh, similarities, but there are some interesting differences. Uh, primarily, uh, when it comes to the viewfinders and LCDs, if you're interested in a range uh, rangefinder, and especially with a hybrid viewfinder, that is, it is both an uh, optical viewfinder and an electronic viewfinder, um, then perhaps um, you could look at the X Pro Three. It's a quite compelling option. But um, if um, that is not something that uh, uh, that 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 um, interests you, uh, perhaps uh, it's not that uh, uh, necessary, and uh, you are giving up some things, such as uh, uh, you are giving up a dial, you are, uh, you are giving up uh, uh, the uh, 4K 60 capabilities and uh, uh, of the XT4. So it is, um, there is a price to pay to have that rangefinder experience. And uh, so that is a model that, it's, that could be separated. And then uh, another interesting thing that we uh, need to, we, we could look at is, uh, is the gri grip and uh, the, uh, the ergonomics. Um, if you like big cameras, then the uh, XH1 is perhaps the way to go. It is uh, it is literally larger than the uh, Sony A7 series full frame uh, mirrorless cameras, while being an APS-C camera. It is also the one with uh, image uh, in body image stabilization, uh, whereas uh, the others uh, only the among the others only the XT4. Uh, has uh, image in-body image stabilization, so uh, that's uh, something that you could perhaps think about. Um, but uh, I uh, I think uh, it's only if you like big camera big cameras because uh, as I will discuss later, um, it's perhaps a little bit dated uh, compared to the other cameras. Uh, when it comes to the features, uh, 
the X only the XT two hundred uh, has a basic CMOS sensor, while the others have uh, X trans sensors. Uh, you could search uh, on, for example, Wikipedia for an explanation of what X trans sensor uh, is. Basically, conventional sensors have buyer filters, which um, are just uh, a matrix matrices of uh, uh, green RGB uh, photo sites or, or, or pixels, and um, um, they, they have, because of this buyer pattern, there is going to be some artifacts because uh, you have a green, red, a blue, green. Uh, this pattern, which basically means some of the lines don't have R or B photo sites, uh, that's, a, that's that basically leads to a lot of artifacts. Well, uh, an X trans sensor has a larger pattern that is more random, uh, so um, it reduces the, uh, the 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 possibility of having this mar mar moiré uh, effect and uh, it eliminates the need of a low-pass filter, which has its own drawbacks. So um, I would say if um, you are an entry-level uh, photographer, uh, don't want, you want, if you don't want to invest a lot of money, XT30 could be an interesting option. Uh, it, has an, uh, it has the latest uh, uh, X-Trans 4 image sensor. So that is very good. Um, if, uh, uh, you know, uh, if on the other hand, you don't care so much about image quality, you just want to have uh, uh, a, a real camera, a jump up from the, uh, from, uh, from smartphones, perhaps XT200 is okay. And then uh, when it comes to image stabilization, as I mentioned, XH1 has a, uh, a embody image stabilization and that was the first in the x mount system and uh, xt4 takes it to a new level with 6.5 stops of uh, compensation so it is better in every way and uh, since it's not that much more expensive and it's more compact in and uh, also it comes with a bigger battery and uh, more uh, video features and uh, higher frame, higher burst rates, both with electronic and uh, mechanical shutters. I think uh, it's best, uh, perhaps, uh, to skip XH1 and to go for the XT4. So my conclusion is basically here uh, at the end of this uh, of this article. Um, if you are just uh, an enthusiast, you want to upgrade from smartphones, look at XT200. If you are ser interested in image quality, start with XT30. If you care about speed, um, handheld ability because of the image stabilization and rich video features, XT4 is ideal. And um, X Pro 3 is only if you like uh, the, uh, the range, range finder experience. Uh, now, um, of course, you could cross shop with some other uh, with some other brands such as Sony. I think Sony cameras, Sony full frame cameras, have relatively similar uh, size and handling. Uh, some many people would disagree, but I think they have quite similar handling um, and well being full size, a uh, full frame, and not that much uh, more expensive. Uh, so. Depending on your own, uh, uh, how to say, uh, what, depending on what you like, maybe it's uh, it's better for you. So this is my th this is an overview of this article. If you want to read into the details with some specifications, and uh, if you also want to look at the related uh, products and uh, their details. For example, XT4 here, uh, let's give a like. Um, then just uh, visit newfiliac.com. Thanks, have a great day.